everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife, and together we are Terra Dice Games. And today we are flippin' lucky to share with you Lucky Flip. That is the roulette-style party game described as a game of strategy, memory, and luck. It plays two to six players and takes about 25 minutes to play. It says it's for 12 plus, but we put it at about 8 plus, making it a perfect game for the family or for just your next party when you never, that was a thing again. Now we are giving away a copy of Lucky Flip over on our yeah! Instagram, so if you'd like a chance at winning this game, make sure to go over to Tear Dice Games to check that out. All right, and if that sounds like something you guys might wanna play, then just keep watching. In Lucky Flip, players place bets on which cards will be revealed next in a deck of 40 unique numbers 10 lucky pots, and three lucky flip cards. This is a game of luck, but also strategy. Use odds to your favor as you place your seven colored chips on exact numbers on lucky hats or lucky colors. Guessing the correct number, hat, or color gives you three, two, or one points based on how much you narrowed it down. If you guess the exact number, roll the lucky die and guess which die will roll the higher number. If you guess right, you double all your points you get this round. Feeling confident? You can place more than one chip on the same number, but only one hat and a color can be chosen each round. Feeling extra lucky? Place one or two bets in the lucky pot, or three chips on the lucky flip card, and you could score 10, 30, or 100 points. But be aware, if you're wrong, you lose these chips for the rest of the game. You don't have to move your chips each draw. The game ends when the last card has been drawn. The person with the most points wins the game. And that is how you play Lucky Flip in a nutshell. Now, full disclaimer before we get started, Lucky Flip was given to us by the publishers, but all thoughts and opinions are our own. Right off the bat, what I want to say is this game is geared really well towards being a party game. Mm -hmm. And by that, what I mean is the game has simple rules. They're easy to learn. You'll never forget them. Yeah, they're even printed right here on the board, so you don't even need to pull out the rule book. Like, if you forget, just take a glance down here at the bottom of the board. Yeah, that's right. And what's also really great about this game is that it's geared really well towards supporting those distracted players. So you don't have to move your chips every round. You can leave them, you know, bet out on whatever you've bet on. So what that means is that if there's a player who you all know that person at the party who's like, oh yeah, okay, and they're, they're talking to other people, this is a great game for them. They can still be involved, but they're not really in the way and they don't break the turn cycle when they need to go take a bathroom break mid-game. Yeah, that's true. Now, this game also, for those distracted people and not so distracted <laughs> people, has some hilarious betting styles. So at one point, you can take three chips and place it on the lucky flip. And if they happen to draw the 100-point lucky flip card, I think there's three of them total, you will get 100 points. So it's an all-in victory. <laughs> but if they don't draw it, you lose these chips for the rest of the game. So it definitely is a bet. But while there is, that is a luck portion, this game does have a similar roulette style based, which is where there's a, you never know what number you're going to get. But in this style, there's only one of each number. So there definitely can be some strategy involved because you can kind of, if you're good at counting cards, you can kind of process of elimination on what card's going to come up to increase your chances of winning. Yeah, that's right. And I like that because, you know, if you've got a good memory, you can play the game, you can get going. But what's awesome about the rest of this whole betting and the, the sort of all in that you can do is that it really allows for strategy, but that also doesn't guarantee you're going to win because you could go all in and be silly and you could probably get a lot of points that way too. Now we personally had a chance to play this game with our family this past weekend and they really loved it and we played with an engineer who is especially good <laughs> and has an especially good memory looking at you, Tori. So the players did get sort of suspicious at the very end with her in the room because everyone started <laughs> betting on the same tokens that she would lay on and we magically, though that card was drawn. So most of the time that's not gonna happen unless you're playing with Tori. Now we did, however, have Jonathan's 13 year old brother playing with us and he is the betting fool and he <laughs> did win a bunch of points by betting on some ridiculous bets and came very close to beating her. So it, it is possible. So let's talk about components for a second. So usually when you got a party game, you've got okay-ish components. It can withstand the test of time, a few bent corners, a wet table, some Dorito fingers. But uh, what you see here with Lucky Flip is fantastic component quality. Mm -hmm. So they've got a really nice board. It's got that good linen finish that I love so much, that texture, I don't know what you call it. Uh, but it's also got uh, 
really, really nice tokens. Yeah, yeah you really like nice. These. You feel really good, like, betting. Like, you're like, it feels real. Like, they're really high quality in their tokens. Yeah, definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. Another thing that's great about this game is you've got these erasable whiteboard boards. Uh, so use this for scoring. What's awesome about that is that everybody can be eating, they can be partying, you know, whatever they're doing. And these are really good components for most players to use. And then the cards only need to be touched by the dealer, really. So this deck of cards is the one thing that just one person's flipping them. So you don't really have to worry about damage to your game when you're playing at a party. Now, speaking of the components being able to stand the test of time, let's talk about where we would recommend this game and who would you recommend it to. Now, I would definitely see this at a lot of parties and I definitely recommend it to a board game pub or a board game cafe. I think this game would do really well there and it'd be a lot of fun. I could see potentially lots of drinking games going along with this game. Oh yeah, Lots sure. of Super Bowl parties or just lots of friends or people that maybe you're, you're a gamer and you just have from some friends over that aren't that into games but they like to bet or they like to drink then i yeah, would recommend good. pulling out lucky flip because you can still have your strategy they can have some fun or if you're into betting you could put a little betting into it, a little bit of money you ah, do you you could put it's some money you. but we're not endorsing that you do you now my only critique would be is that it's not a very deep thinking game or very complex game because they it is a party game so that's not what they're going for but if you're looking for a complex game like that you might want to look other ways lucky flip may not be for you yeah, I think one other thing to keep in mind too is being a party game, this box is full size, so it'll take up full size, so if you're like us and you've got a New York size bookshelf, then uh, you might have some trouble fitting it. So you gotta make sure that you got the room for it and that's for your audience. Now at the time of filming, this game does come in two different style of boxes. We have the traditional one with two Lucky Flip cards, and we also have Mr. Leprechaun over here, Mr. Lucky Flip. And over on our Instagram giveaway, we will be giving away one of these copies and we will let you choose which one you want. Now we do have a slight edge in opinion toward this one. However, the Leprechaun does make some really fun and entertaining like songs over on Wombo. So pretty much win-win either way. And we'd like to thank the folks over at Lucky Flip for allowing us to give one of these games over in our Instagram. All right, everyone, and that is our review of Lucky Flip. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We'd love to have you, and it really does help us put out more content. Make sure to stay tuned for next week where we are putting out the highly anticipated, highly requested video, Board Games for Couples Part 2. And we have put a lot of research and a lot of game time to make sure that we come up with the perfect list for you. So make sure to check that out. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. And happy, happy playing. playing.